Hey, for anybody just joining, this is the PS2 Gauntlet. I am collecting and streaming every PlayStation 2 game that I really can. So it's not literally every PlayStation 2 game. I'm trying to collect all of them, obviously, a copy of each. But there are certain PS2 games that you can't stream for one reason or another. Um, you know, be it excessive nudity, violence. Uh, there's at least one PS2 game that's just outright banned on Twitch. So there are certain ones I won't be able to do for, for obvious reasons, but every one that I can, I plan on streaming a little bit of, of me trying, one to two hours of, generally speaking, two hours for most, but some sports games and things I'm doing a little bit less of. For instance, like the one that we are about to play right now, Real Pool. Real Pool is a game. Uh, <laughs> that's all I can really say about that. I, uh, I've messed around with it before, but other than that, I don't know, know much about it, you know? It's a pool game. I guess that's that's all I really know. That's all you really need to know, right? Like, I don't know. <laughs> this is a this is a nifty kind of input screen here. It's making me a tad bit nauseous going around in a circle like this. Yeah, E A and M stream. That's us. I mean, that's kind of neat, right? At least they didn't just do, like, a regular sort of thing. They could have. They didn't have to do anything fancy with it, but they did. And I guess I appreciate them for that. Uh, okay, so there doesn't appear to be any sort of story campaign sort of thing or anything like that, which I'm not that surprised about. Didn't really expect there to be, I suppose. We have... How do you say that? Karam? Karam? Play a game on a Karam billiards table? I'm sure I'm butchering that, and I'm sorry to any uh, billiards people out there. And then we have pocket, pocket pool. I know that tournament mode. Okay, just try to pocket a specific specified ball on an unusually shaped table. I mean that sounds fun. Let's just try that for the for the laws, just for the fun of it. Let's go. I'm gonna click this just to see what it does. Okay. Puzzle for the win? Hell yeah, man. In the puzzle mode, balls number 1 through 8 are object balls, and 9 through 15 are missed balls, which cannot be pocketed. Players clear a puzzle stage by pocketing all object balls on the table within a predetermined number of shots. Alright, we're probably screwed, but... Uh, I guess we just start at the beginning, yeah? Um, real pool, puzzle mode, puzzle type B. Yeah, well, oh... Sure, screw it. Just go into the first one. We'll just try a couple of them out. Yeah. Some games... <laughs> some games really weren't meant to be streamed, in my opinion. And I would say this is definitely one of them, you know? <laughs> Alright, so... Our goal is to get... Is it all of these that we're trying to get in? I can't really see what their numbers are. It looks like two, three, and then whatever that one over there is. That zooms in and out. That does nothing. That's all camera controls. Oh, we can sit the ball anywhere we want. Interesting. Okay, well, I kind of feel like just going straight on would be good to start. So take it over a little bit. I got it. Got to get it lined up. Okay, how do we? How do we? Okay, so we use right stick to change our shot angle. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So I mean, I I feel like we should start just by knocking the the obvious one in, right? I did not pick my power there, so I don't know, I don't know how we pick our power. Do we, okay, I see power over on, okay, 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 I see it now, I see it. So we use uh, R1, R2 to pick power. I'm going to move the screen down just a little bit. One problem with the way I capture, I have it actually overfill the screen um, so that I can get a clean 1080p signal without any sort of... Uh, what's it called interpolation or whatever but the problem with that is that it overfills the screen so some games the ui elements don't always like to line up perfectly 
I mean, this was an extremely easy puzzle mode. I'm sure there was a better way to do that. Like, maybe you could have did that in one or two shots or something, but I cleared the stage. That's all I care about. And try another one out for the hell of it. I want to know who went around spending time creating all these odd-shaped billiards tables, right? There can't be that big of a market for billiards tables in the, the shape of a star or a, a T or a plus or whatever. An L. Like, who out there is, is ordering pool tables in the shape of an L? Can't be that many of them. <laughs> this, is a, this is a very expensive hobby here. Buying odd shaped pool tables because they got to be one off so you're you're probably talking you know I, I would i i don't know i'm guessing but i i would say probably like ten thousand dollars a table or something is that unreasonable i have no clue i feel like i shouldn't have placed the ball yet because i don't actually know where the other one is okay so there's one behind me two over there um, okay, well, let's see, so there's one there, and then we still have four shots left though, so this might be okay. Can we just hit you, like right there? Maybe I should have done a little bit harder, oh, okay, can we just do it like a quick restart, is that an option? Oh, sorry, I had to sneeze there. Oh. Okay, I don't see, like, a quick restart. Because I, I think we're going to need it. We just wasted a shot there. Oh, we can actually... <laughs> okay, so select just uh, chalks the, the tip there. Okay, what's triangle? Circle changes the view. Interesting. Can I go back to default? Alrighty, uh, well, <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure we lost this one, but we'll, we'll keep going, I guess, since there's no, no obvious way to restart it. This is when you just go crazy with it, right? Like, I don't know how I'm going to make this shot, so what you do, is you just uh, hit it kind of like... Kind of like this, a little bit. Kind of, kind of like, kind of like that, right? And then you take the power and you just like put it all the way up there, and then you just. <laughs> I mean that that's not at all what uh, I expected to happen, but hey. All right, so now we just somehow have to get the ball all the way over there to hit it. So, what was the button to change the view again? Okay, so we can zoom out about that far. Uh, we can move the camera with this. Um, tell you what, here's, here's what we need to do. I don't know how accurate the, the little marker there is that's telling us where the ball is going to go. I feel like probably not very. How did I zoom the camera out again? Oh no. Uh, left stick moves that. Okay, we wanna hit the ball normal. Uh, triangle? Nope, square. No, circle? Circle's view, I don't know. Okay, wait, this is actually, yeah, right here. This is good. This is good, this is what we wanna see. So we just got to get it to go as straight as possible. It's very touchy. I've played pool games before where they have like a button to, to do finer movements. That's what I really need right now is a button to, to let me do really fine movements on this. Because, okay, so that's too far over. It's going back. Ah, come on. Just need to inch it over. This is annoying. Come on. Nope. Damn it. Too far. Screw it. Just go. Ah. See, that would have worked, though. 
We almost had it. If I had spent the time to like sit there and, and get it all uh, lined up, we could have done it. We'll retry. Okay, we can do it this time. So this one's easy. That's just straight in. All right. Easy, easy, easy. And then I think what we actually want to do is maybe bank it kind of like that. I still want to hit it pretty easy because it's right on the... It's right on it. Yeah, we don't want to do anything crazy there. So we got that one. Now we're going to bring this one back over. So I need to... Uh, I need to bring the camera down so I can see a little bit. There we go. Still hit it in the center. But we actually want to hit the ball. So that's centered. Kind of like that maybe and pretty hard. Try something like that. I haven't played pool in a long time, so yeah, that is not what I want to happen. I don't quite remember all the physics for pool, man. It's been too long. Okay, so we need to hit it a little at an angle. Is that enough of an angle? Can we reset to center? <laughs> that would be nice too, to be honest. Is that what select does? Oh no, select chalks. I forgot. All right, uh, it's fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna guess. We're gonna guess that we need to hit the ball something like uh, something like this and smack it pretty hard. And it's gonna miss. It actually went in. We are we are god gamers, obviously. All right, so now we're in the same position we were before though, where we're gonna have to get some sort of stupid shot in here. That should technically be possible, but... Oh, maybe. This one may not actually be... Oh, no. Okay. Either way, we know we're gonna pretty much guaranteed gonna have to have maximum power, right? Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Tri like, triple banking it over here. <laughs> okay, I need to change the view a little bit. Oh, man, come on. It's so touchy. Oh no, that's so close. I don't think that's it though. No, that's not it. It's so close. It's a good thing it gives us these guides. If it didn't give us these guides, I'd be screwed. I'd have no idea <laughs> where this ball is going right now with this many banks. Oh man, this is actually kind of annoying. <laughs> Is it moving? Nope. Okay. And it it doesn't seem like it takes con uh, advantage of the analog stick. How you can like make fine adjustments. You just have to uh, make big adjustments and hope it lands in the right spot. <laughs> oh no. All right, we, we might just have to go for it again. I really don't want to spend all day trying to, trying to get this in the right spot here. Just flicking the stick now. You just gotta, just gotta flick your stick. Ah, oh, come on. Like frame perfect freaking inputs here or something. I think we're just gonna have to hit it and hope for the best. This is, damn it. All right, just go, see what happens. Ah, dude, it was actually kind of close. Okay, we're not gonna do any more of the puzzle mode because it's already obvious that I'm bad at it. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna go into one of the normal pool modes now. Uh, retry, no. I find it kind of hilarious. Like coming from a game developer perspective now, it's kind of funny how simple some games were back in the day, and I, I don't know if this was like a big sell or anything, right? I feel like it probably wasn't, but I don't really know. But it's just like, this is this is such a relatively simple game, right? Type of thing that you could throw together pretty quickly with a modern game engine. So I have no idea what this kind of billiards table is, but we're gonna try it out. We 
Hard to score a point in this game. The cue ball must hit a cushion. Okay. Using the two cue balls, white and yellow, and one red ball. Players score by hitting the two remaining balls. Okay, maybe we're not going to do that because I don't know what that is. <laughs> I know, I know what these are. I can do these ones. These ones I know. Bolliards, balliards, billiards, and bowling. Okay, I guess we're playing that. It's a mixture of bowling and billiards, man. Who wouldn't want to play that, right? It's, the excitement is real here. Let's go. <laughs> All right, computer level. Uh, leave it on one because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So. They shouldn't either. Make it fair. <laughs> Keep it interesting. Again, with loading times on PS2 are funny. Because, like, we played Lord of the Rings, and it loads so quick in between different sections. Eternal Ring loads fairly quick between different sections. And then Billiards, of all things, has to, uh, has to load... Oh, so we're doing the thing to determine who goes first here, I guess. Uh, so uh, I don't know how hard to hit it here. I don't know the power gauge on this well enough. Was that? That was probably too hard. That was actually pretty close to what they did. A little worse. Okay, first inning? Oh, I'm actually first. Didn't expect that. Okay, well, I mean, we'll just we'll start here in the middle. That's fine. Just freaking whack it, man. Let's go. <laughs> now, how do you how do you take? Because so far this is playing fairly similar to just regular uh, eight ball. How do you? Okay, you actually have to call your shot, and I'm guessing I'm going for the blue since that's the one that's highlighted. So I'm gonna try to get it over there. So far, I, so far I'm in it. I know what's going on. I don't want to hit it too hard. Let's uh, hit it right about here-ish. That was way too straight. I'll get into it with a little bit of practice. I'm still not sure how the game of bowling comes into this. Okay, so we have like a bowling point system. Is that it? Second inning. It's me again. Not what I expected, but okay. That was too much. What? Oh no, it actually made it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, pocketed. Yep. Score plus one. Um, I don't see a good shot on this one, to tell you the truth. I'm sure there's like some pool god out there that could do this in his sleep. But I do not know. I think I kind of want to hit it like... Kind of like this. Take the spin down a little bit. Nah. Nope. Not enough, actually. Okay, so when does the computer go, though? Okay, now. Oh, and they get their own setup. As well. It's like they have their own pool table, I have my own pool table. Oh, and you can score one on the break in this game mode. Wait, why are they going straight for the... Isn't that the eight ball? I thought we were counting up. Maybe not. Okay, I'm glad I picked easy. The computer doesn't look any better than me, so that's... <laughs> that's good. That's helpful. Alright, what do we got now? Player change. First inning. Okay, so we're re-breaking now. They like living on the danger side, obviously. Okay, so... Let's, uh, I don't know, hit from over here. Screw it, why not? Let's see if we can get uh, that one in there from the get-go. Probably not. I wasn't paying enough attention to see how he shot, but we actually did it. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. Okay, so are we going straight for number two, or... 
No. Oh, you can pick which ball you want to shoot. Oh, I'm an idiot. Wow, okay. Okay, that makes things a bit easier. So the goal of this game, I guess, is just get as many as you can in an inning. Like, as many balls in as you can. Do you just keep going? Okay, I think I still need to hit it at a pretty good angle here. And, uh... I think actually pretty, pretty easy, right? Easy transfers more momentum to the left or right, I think. Oh man, it's been too long since I played pool. Okay, let's try that. Ah, okay, well, I think I had the right idea, but not quite. Oh wait, did I select the wrong hole anyways? I think I may have had the wrong hole selected regardless. All right though, second inning, so that means we can keep going. Okay, so we use right stick to select ball, left stick to select hole. Or pocket, I guess would be the technical term here. So we want to hit like that, and I think we want to hit this one pretty hard. Too, 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 too angular. Hype! <laughs> yeah, I see you found one of the emotes. Like I said, those emotes are temporary, though. Although I do kind of like the little purple guy. It's, uh... They are just temporary. <laughs> I, uh, I am having actual ones made just for the channel. That, uh, yeah, we'll be, uh, adding soon, hopefully. Also working on getting, like, a, a real profile picture. Oh, damn, okay, you got two. Uh, a real profile picture as well as, uh, a, uh, like, some banners and stuff made. Just, you know, all kinds of things, because, yeah, I want it to look pretty on the page. So, the game's tied up so far, I think. 1-1. One, one. Although, yeah, that's an easy shot. He should definitely have that one. I'm guessing, since it works like bowling, it's whoever has the most points wins, right? At the end of the, uh, the innings? I didn't actually realize that it was called innings in bowling. You pixel art the profile pic. Uh, I was thinking of doing it myself, but honestly, I decided to have somebody else do it for me. Um, but yeah, it's it's gonna be pixel art inspired because uh, I mean yeah, you know I like pixel art. Plus I, I'm doing a lot of retro stuff on the channel and whatnot, so it makes sense to to be a little uh, retro inspired on the profile pic and whatnot. And I missed that time. That's okay. We know what we're doing a little bit now, so that helps a lot. Regardless of. getting the opening shot in or not. Although, it didn't get a very good break, I feel like. Let's try for this one, and we want to go for that hole, because... Oh, that's actually straight on. I didn't realize it was literally straight on, to be honest. Cool deal? Yes. Yeah. It's, uh, John. Is who, I, who I'm having try it out for me. He... I gave him ideas for the things that I wanted, and he said that he had some ideas on how he could turn that into to pixel art. And uh, we'll probably go back and forth on it a little bit. I'll probably do some tweaks after I get a hold of it myself, but but yeah. Hopefully here relatively soon, we get some of that stuff added on here. There's also... Damn, I missed. Um, there's also extra emotes for people that donate a certain number of bits. Um, I believe it's a rolling tracker of how many bits, but I'm not completely positive it could be like one-time donations but i'm pretty sure pretty sure that it's uh a rolling tracker of bit donations and uh, again for now it's just using the default ones from twitch but uh, i kind of wish i could change my shot that i called because i didn't realize the red ball there was going to be in the way um you know what you do then you just hit it really freaking hard but yeah, no, again, obviously those ones will end up being custom as well, eventually. I dig it, and speaking of retro, I just came across my old GameCube controller. Dude, that's awesome. I wish I still had my GameCube. I have a Wii, which is compatible with GameCube games. My Wii is, so... Like, it's almost as good, but not quite. Okay, and this game is also following the rule where you have to hit your called shot first, or called ball first. So that's important to know as well. What's your favorite GameCube game, Nate? If you have one, in particular. Scratch, does that end his turn? 
Yeah, that takes him straight to the second inning. Inning, nice. Kind of thought that might, but. And then a foul, dude. Sucks to suck, bro. All right, back over to me. Well, I'm gonna switch it up. We're gonna go. We're gonna go over here now. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> It'd be hard for me to pick my favorite GameCube game, but I know I definitely have some favorites, though. On the GameCube. Uh, Sonic Heroes, for instance, is one of the games that I played on the GameCube back in the day. I'm fairly certain of Sonic Heroes, at least, but I did not mean to select that. I don't even know... How am I supposed to make that and that... Oh, Lord. How did I end up here? Okay, this is not going to end well. I'm just gonna end up shooting it straight into that pocket. Yep. <laughs> oh, I knew that was gonna happen. I accidentally, I must have hit X early or something. I don't know. Um, oh, can I go anywhere on the table? Well, shit, yeah, just put me... Can I rotate the camera? Thank you. Let me, uh, just line me up. Line me up, fam. Super Monkey Balls and Zelda Wind Waker were probably my most played on it for solo than Mario Party and Smash Cop. Dude, Super Monkey Ball is so much fun. I have a couple of them. I just haven't got around to playing. Uh, on the, I have one on the PS4 and the one on the Wii. And then, yeah, I mean, Zelda games in general are always top-notch picks. I never really got into Wind Waker, but still. And the, But I had the uh, collection of Ocarina of Time and all that on on the gamecube was it was it ocarina of time amajora's mask or was it just ocarina of time i don't remember but is the new one is that the ps4 one? Oh shit i didn't select my hole again oh i'm bad i am so bad okay the only way i stand a chance of making it in there is doing something like this uh okay well i mean i had the right idea but obviously obviously i missed uh, but, oh, and then Pokemon Coliseum? Yeah, Pokemon Stadium was the N64 games. So Pokemon Coliseum, that was another one of my favorite. I never got to play XD Gale of Darkness, the second one, though. I really want to play that one. Never got the opportunity to. I know it's on Switch, yeah. That might be what I have. It. No, I'm pretty sure it's PS4, the one that I have it on. But it's probably the same game. I don't know how to see how many points you've accrued. Because, like, on, on my side, I just have infinite points, stream points. I'm guessing uh, just right by... The, the points are, like, the little orange bobble-looking thingies. Or, or bubble-looking thingies. So I'm guessing for you guys, it would just say a number right next to it. And that'd be how many points you have. Played Stadium a crap load, never played Coliseum. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, Stadium is amazing. But Coliseum was like a, a Pokemon game, but on the TV, which at the time was, you know, amazing. Because you actually ran around and, and battled other real people and, and leveled your characters and all that. Uh, but the, the thing with it was is that you were actually collecting you know evil versions of pokemon or whatever tainted versions of pokemon and you had to purify them kind of like don't they have something similar like that in pokemon go now similar to that sort of system if it if i remember correctly i haven't played a whole lot of pokemon go so i could be wrong dude i got three hell yeah all right gotta remember to call hole and shot not just one or the other that one looks pretty decent, but I'm a little worried about hitting that purple ball. But if I get that one, then I could come back and try to get either the orange or the black, depending where my ball ends up. So I think I'm going to go for blue. Just got to go over here a little bit. Now that you found your GameCube, I, I would highly suggest that you try and uh, see if you can find a copy of Coliseum for a reasonable price. I imagine it's probably pretty expensive. I haven't looked up the price of it recently. Damn, I thought we had that one. But Nintendo games, especially Mario and Pokemon games and stuff like that, tend to stay on the expensive side, in my experience, which is too bad. 
It'd be nice to be able to ex uh, experience some of those those games again. All right, let's uh, let's try to make this one. I don't see it happening, but let's try anyways. Too much actually. It went backwards. I didn't even know I could do that. <laughs> didn't even know that was possible, man. So, I mean, I like pool. So this game's fun in the sense that I like pool and I enjoy playing pool. As a, as a game to stream though, I could see it being like a, just a chill thing if you just want to talk to chat or whatever and, and be doing something at the same time. But I don't think this is <laughs> a very good streaming game <laughs> at all. If I wasn't doing the whole PlayStation 2 gauntlet thing, I don't think I would be streaming this one. Speaking of PlayStation 2 Gauntlet, though, anybody just joining the stream or watching the VOD on YouTube, the PlayStation 2 Gauntlet is where I stream a, uh, I stream and I'm collecting all of the North American PlayStation 2 games and then trying them out on stream, at least if I can. There are, of course, some that I won't be able to for copyright, nudity, banned on Twitch, etc, etc, etc. But yeah, it's been fun so far. The still relatively early in the journey, but it's going really well and it's been Gaining a little bit of traction. I'm happy to to see people here hanging out on Twitch with me as I try a bunch of games that I otherwise probably would have never really spent much uh, time or, or attention on. Got to get cords and see if it still runs. I know. I wish I still had my old GameCube collection. I should see if my stepmom still has them. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now for some of my old PS2 games because I lost most of those at uh, one point or another as well. So I'm in the process of kind of trying to figure out where they're all at and if I can get a hold of them again. So I feel your pain. All right, black looks like a pretty decent shot. Maybe. It's basically straight on. Don't screw this one up. <laughs> I forgot to call my pocket, didn't I? Maybe not. Okay, maybe not. Okay, um, I guess red. Kind of wish I could break that up a little bit more, but I don't think that's an option right now. I want to hit you like over here somewhere. Kind of like this, maybe. Might be too much. It was a little too much. Oh, well, close. I hope you do get it running, man. Oh, and then, of course, how could I forget, like, Mario Party and Mario Kart? That crap's always a ton of fun, too. Oh, speaking of PS2 Gauntlet, I haven't ran the bot command in a while. If you guys have any questions about the PS2 Gauntlet or anything, that's my little blog post about it. It also has a link to the games that I currently own, have streamed, etc., etc. That's uh, updated semi-frequently. So it's a good resource to go to and look if there's a specific game that you're wanting to see if I've played yet or if I own it or, or something to suggest or whatever. That's uh, that's the place to go. I on, on that blog, I also post more updates in general about it. It's uh, justonemorepodcast.com. If you go there, you can find a link to my blog up in the top right-hand corner. For anybody who uh, doesn't see the link or is watching on the VOD, if I forget to put the link in there, because I most likely will. Can we just go right up against the wall? Does that work? Let's give it a little bit of a forward spin. Why not? Screw it. Let's just let's do something funky. Hey, okay, it worked though. Got two in. We need to break up that center though. That's the one problem with doing this on the side is I think I'm just gonna try to break up the center and just take the take the miss on it. Maybe that'll line up a couple shots for us. Like that green there is pretty damn well lined up, assuming it doesn't slide in. So we can go for that now, and then from the green, we can come back and try to get like the blue maybe. I want to I want to take it over just a little bit and I want to hit it gently. 
so we don't slide in ourselves. I feel like there's not as much follow through with the ball as there is in real pool, but I'm by no means a expert on pool though, so I could definitely be wrong. Okay, let's go for the blue here. Just go over a little bit. Something like that, maybe. Yes! I don't suppose you can do jumps in this game, can you? <laughs> so instantly I see that orange, but no, we're going to uh, we're gonna go for the black here. That one's a little more lined up for us. That's actually perfectly lined up for us. Awesome. Nate says, you should try to find Sirius Sam next encounter. That was one of my other favorites. We did co-op on OG Xbox all the time. Dude, Sirius Sam games are so much fun. I've never played one on console before, but I have it for PC on Steam. And I've played the first encounter and the second encounter a few times. I haven't beaten either one of them, but they're a crap ton of fun, man, for sure. And yeah, if it's on PS2, I would love to give it a try. That could be another one that I'd be happy to try to play all the way through even. Player change. Is that going to... Okay, he got one. He got one. It is from what you saw. I could pull up my list. I mean, I have all the PlayStation 2 games listed on there. I'm just watching the computer at the moment, so... Drive.google.com. Oh, that's another thing. If anybody does look at the list and notices a game that I'm missing on there, please do let me know. Best I can tell, it's a complete list, but there's, of course, always the possibility that there's one or two missing that uh, I just don't know of or weren't on the resources that I was looking at for one reason or another. Uh, it would help if I spelt serious, right? Yes, so that's the only Serious Sam game on PS2, but it is on PS2. So yeah, I'd be happy to give that one a look. I don't know what the, the price is on that one. Let me look that up real quick while I'm here. Oh, is it our turn now? It is. Uh, IOUS, Serious Sam. Okay, take a look there in a second. Take my turn real quick. So, I mean, we kind of we kind of cracked the code here, right? You just go over here and then do that, do a bit of do a bit of that, give it all the power and get two shots or two balls, just just like that. Done. I mean, we we won the game already. <laughs> all right. Uh, Serious Sam next encounter on the PlayStation 2 is Oh, yeah, no, that's not bad at all. It's pretty reasonably priced. Complete inbox, you're looking at like 14 bucks. So yeah, we could probably do that one relatively soon. I don't see why not. Let's go for black. Black in that pocket. Take the ball and just a, just a hair over. Something like that. Although I wasn't thinking of the next shot whenever I did that. Don't know where I'm gonna go now. I feel like I have to go for purple just because of how close it is. And if I play my cards right, maybe I could get it to go in there. I right, just need to hit it like that and hit it hard. Not quite enough. Right idea, bad execution. You still there, Mr. Noodle? How are you doing down there? Okay, so we are there. So, I mean, that ball, that hole, I think it pretty much had us... Had it picked out for us there, what to do. Just need to hit it a little bit over. Hopefully that's not so far that it ends up bouncing off the wall. Itch it is. I should have just hit it straight. Oh, well. I mean, we're still ahead by, what, nine points. We're double the other guy's score, so I think we're going to be okay. I wasn't paying attention. Did he get anything? Got one. Twitch broke. I'm here. How did Twitch break on you? Oh, damn, we got another one. Trying to trying to catch up now. You fixed it. 
I'm glad you fixed it. It still doesn't tell me how it's broke. <laughs> or how it did break, I guess. It's not broke now. I think the computer realized how far behind he is. Now he's gonna catch up. Just boosted his AI all of a sudden. Second inning. So what's that put him at? 12 now? Did he get three? I think he might have gotten three. I might add... Like before, what I used to do whenever I recorded games was I would put kind of what they were on the sidebars since they're kind of empty anyways. I uh, kind of stopped doing that because usually I was recording stuff for... I used to use it, mostly record stuff for the podcast, and it kind of got annoying have to cut it off all the time. But now that I'm doing this more than I am recording stuff for the podcast, I feel like I should put what I'm doing back on the sides of the screen, just so it's not completely empty. But if you said something to me, I didn't hear it. I accidentally closed it at that time. Wow, accidentally? Okay, sure, whatever you say. <laughs> I asked how it broke. I'm glad you got it fixed, but I, I, I asked how, how it broke on you. Try this one. I'm sure it'll go poorly, but let's try it anyways. We want to hit like way over here like this and then just freaking smack it, man. Yeah, look at that. Completely missed the ball. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm a pool master, man. This is all part of the plan. You got to give him a false sense of security. And then just, like, wipe the board at the end of the game. Uh, this is fine. I'm gonna leave it there. Because I'm gonna go for the red. Yeah. You could hear me talking, but when you try to open the little Twitch screen, nothing would load. That's, that is weird. Are you using the mobile app or the website? I think you're probably the mobile app, right? app yeah i don't know i uh i should use the twitch app more often but ah crap i scratched i looked good oh sorry for trying to make conversation with you jeez <laughs> gotta get a drink hold on kind of into this music right now <laughs> it's way too hype for what's going on in the game but kind of into it this is also taking much longer than i thought it would for this one round of pool but hey whatever it's all right second inning once this is over i should look to see how many innings are left That doesn't quite seem right. I'm not sure what he's doing there. Oh, we're on the last one. Okay, not too bad. So I, I think it's safe to say we got this one in the bag. Feels good to actually win at a sport, even if it is pool. And I am playing on, you know, the easiest difficulty. But hey, you know, whatever. Feels good to win it nonetheless. So, let's see. Do I have any good shots here? Could just accept a foul and try to break stuff up. Well, I guess I don't have to take a foul if I still hit the whatever ball first. Um, hmm. Might actually be able to get black in a center pocket. Oh, that's more straight on than I thought it was. Yeah, I think we can. I think we can do this one. Try that. Okay, never mind. We can't. We are even worse than I thought we were. <laughs> Second inning. I wonder if there's a strike and whatnot in this game. Like, I'm assuming you would have to get all the balls in for a strike. Again, I wish I could. Ooh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do a bank shot just for the laws. Ah, oh, I forgot to call my pocket though. 
How the hell am I supposed to get it over there? This isn't gonna work. <laughs> uh, okay, so here's what we do. We do a strong curve, and then... <laughs> I don't... Hold on. Okay, wait. Maybe... Maybe if we do it like this. Okay, we're trying to get it over to there. Ah, but it... As soon as you... Move it, though, it, uh... Changes the view. Okay. So I feel like there's a decent chance we're gonna end up... In the... In the corner pocket there ourselves. But just try it. A bit of a backspin on it, maybe. Ah, uh, nope. I mean, we hit the right ball, at least. I'm a little proud of that. I mean, sure, if we didn't have the guides, it never would have happened, but whatever. Oh, man. We can also run poles and stuff now. I haven't tried that out. I'm going to, uh... Manage reward requests. Oh, okay, that brings up that menu. Start. Manage a poll. Create a new poll. Questions, responses, additional votes. That's cool. I mean, I don't really have a poll to do right now, but that's, you know, sort of thing that'd be fun. Especially if I'm trying to, like, pick a game to play for a day or something like that. We could run a poll to see what everybody wants to do. Uh, there's also predictions. So that's like a poll, basically, but one of two things. That's fun, too. Chatters will receive a temporary chat badge indicating the option they voted for until the prediction ends. Oh, and if you win the prediction, then you get points. That's cool. So I'm just going to try it. Name the prediction. Uh, will I win? <laughs> I mean, we kind of know that that I will at this point, but... Uh, submission period, 30 seconds. Start prediction. You have to confirm the outcome within 24 hours of the end of the prediction. Submission window. Cannot change it. Okay. Got it. There you go. 30 seconds to vote on. <laughs> to, to make a prediction. Will I win? Yes or no? <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious which one's gonna which one's gonna happen, but I don't know, man. You could you could vote no if you want to. Uh, <laughs> this was more just because I was curious how this works. I don't even know how many points it would cost you to predict or anything like that, or if it costs anything. Maybe it's just you just win. I don't know. But and there we go. The 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 prediction is over. Did I win? Choose outcome. Yes. Or did I? Watch Watch I lose somehow. Oh good. Okay, I did. <laughs> Complete prediction. Cool, cool. Actually, I don't know if mods can, can do that or not. Can vote in those because mods can technically choose the outcome. So that'd be kind of, you know, cheaty if they could. <laughs> but I just wanted to see how it worked since I've never got to play around with that before. What else do we have? We got predictions, rewards, we can do raids, of course, emote only chat, all that stuff. Ads. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyways, I think that's all I'm going to do for this uh, episode of PS2 Gauntlet, or whatever you want to call it here. But I hope you all had fun, and I hope you continue to enjoy me next time. Because uh, I'm having fun, and I'm, I'm glad to hang out and talk with y'all. So, bye-bye for now. <laughs>